Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 121 of Brick Feed. I'm LJ. Mardi Gras. I'm Basso. <laughs> I'm your cat. I'm Starbreaker. And I'm Ben, the real host of this podcast. Welcome to the Brick Feed podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the Mardi Gras thing is not in Brick Feed, man. That's, that's the wrong thing. I do what I want because I'm the host of this podcast. Thank you very much. <laughs> Then got how <laughs> how many episodes have you been the host? Then can you tell me a little bit about your Brickfield background? This is a good <laughs> question because here's the thing: I feel like there's been a conspiracy here mm. going on at, at TTV <laughs> to like intentionally like phase me out of the Brickfield podcast because you guys like to just schedule it at times where I just so happen to not be available. It's oh, like, no. oh, what, Ben's Dang. busy? He's, he's, he's caught on! Perfect time to do the podcast. Let's do it <laughs> right now. He's caught on. Have we also oh, sabotaged no. your personal interest? Not this time. Ooh, you almost did. You almost did. Yes, because this podcast was originally scheduled for the evening, and then last minute you guys were like, oh, you know what? We're going to do it in the morning. And I bet <laughs> that was another effort to phase me out. No, but it was like, for X, I, I told swear. you guys I was free in the evenings. I specifically said I was going to be free in the evenings. So that was the perfect opportunity for you guys to be like, oh, you know what? Let's not have Ben here. Let's let's do it in the morning, and then he, that way he can't do it. Ben, hey, Ben. Ben. No question. How do you ben. time zone? It didn't happen. <laughs> ben, I'm not going to lie. I'm super appreciative that you're here. I, I miss you a lot. I'm glad to hear your voice again. I love you. I love and you. I appreciate <laughs> you. Smart. you loyal. <laughs> Listen, Ben. That's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna refer to Zach on this one. Zach, uh, what, what what was it that you just said again? Okay, thank what was you. That? Thank. You. I, I was asking. <laughs> Go ahead. And re repeat what you had said about time zones. Oh, <laughs> I said, how does one time zones? Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Uh, that's a very good. That's that's, that's a good one. Good assessment. Yeah, yes, I'm a good one. All right. One Andy. that's the odd one out time zone wise, I can attest time zones are weird. Yeah, and weird. getting everything to line up is always a hassle. Well, heck, you guys are that's in the okay. same time zone, so. What are time zones? I will say I am Wait a yes, sec, what? out of practice because it's been a while, so I am allowing LJ to co host <laughs> this episode through. So, You're such a generous ahead. person, man. man. So let's, see, let's see what you got, LJ. Mm. We'll see what you've got. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm not sure. Show me what <laughs> you right, got. It, right. It's time Let's for the plugs. Got. The weekly plugs. Or at least the episodely plugs. Do you know what those are, Ven? Yes. This is where we plug Audible. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> what, no. what fake sponsors We do recommend this week? brick by brick. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think Audible is still a thing. Like, we still have the Audible sponsorship. Audibletrial.com oh forward slash TTV? Yeah, I think it still is, like, a thing. Go get it. We recommend go, the Bionic Island, Island of the Lost Mass. Audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. We recommend brick by brick. <laughs> the story of how Bionicle saved Lego. <laughs> This podcast brought to you by the highest bidder. <laughs> Dude, when's my G2 Bonkle audiobooks? Uh, if never. If his way, it'd be, uh, it'd be TTV podcast brought to you by Aquafina. Yeah. Ooh, sponsored yeah, by Aquafina. No. Sponsored by Aquafina. <laughs> we are not sponsored. Sponsored and brought to you in part by Aquafina. When you're just sat there wondering, what are we going to do? Aquafina is here <laughs> for you. <laughs> I... Anyway. Did you practice that, Mesa? No, I did it. Well, I mean, technically a brick fairy. Yeah. <laughs> I remember right, that. LJ, what else do you want to plug? <laughs> your, your reviews? Check so... out the, the, the remixed reviews. <laughs> Check I... out the, the recap. <laughs> Remixed, retired, renewed, retired. reborn. <laughs> you're you're forgetting one, guys. You're forgetting actually two. Oh, recent. Re I just said recent. And random. Okay. Rehash. You got me there. Yeah. But I did say recent. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Here's the thing. Also, you took that name from me. What? How? Random reviews, dude. That, okay, those are on I my channel. In, in all that. fairness, those are on I my. I told you about it. My personal channel. I totally came up with it. Oh, <laughs> oh, Jones Jones random podcast. reviews. 
the LJ Johnson podcast brought to you by the letter R. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. No, I, I don't need to tell people to go check out the remix to Views Mess. So. They're, they're, that's good. They're, uh, they're visible they're, they're on their own. Go need check out the Slicer reviews. They're better. Every no, time those no, come no. out, no one, no one. No one watches what, then? Anyway. No one watches what, huh? Huh? No one watches the re the remix reviews? Is that it? Is that it? Is that what you're trying to say, Ben? Hmm? You know what? Maybe nobody saw my T-Rex review because I put you in it. What? Ooh. I wasn't even Ooh. in the thumbnail. How would they know? LJ, they six, heard they um, to your presence. Okay. And they were repelled. That's why, that's why LJ is view repellent. <laughs> yes, I'm view repellent, guys. Okay, anyway. You know, let's go ahead reversed. and move on to the plugs. First of all, just in case this video gets coppered, since we're going to be talking a lot about LEGO today, as is every brick feed, make sure you head on over to the TTV message boards at board.ttvchannel.com. It's a good time. You have to be 13 years or older to make an account. And then read our rules, please. We're begging you. It's very fun. A lot of really great community stuff happening and going on. Uh, LEGO author Greg Farshti is over there answering questions. So definitely go check that out. <clears throat> Additionally... Make sure you go ahead and, I mean, it, it's here on the podcast. You can see it visually. We have a Patreon, patreon.com slash the TTV channel. And there, if you donate a dollar a month, then you can be a part of our TTV Discord server and our new Minecraft server. It's Faction Survival. It's a bunch of fun. It's really great. Um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of fun. And why you listen, can. It is a lot of well, fun. That's one way to put it. It's a lot of oh, Listen here, you split off. A lot of crazy <laughs> stuff goes down. <coughs> Dude, I was walking around Takoro the other day and found some beans. It was a good it was a good time. Dude, those are my beans. beans. Oh, did I steal your beans? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> beans in Minecraft. How many yeah. times I have died trying to fix Takoro? You know how many times I have died trying to fix Dude, that Dude, that was so unfortunate. Wait, we gotta talk about that next, like, in, on a different podcast. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's been completely blown up. Yeah. I'm there right now. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's right, I'm hopping on the server right as now. we speak. Yeah. Hold on now. So everybody play Minecraft. Minecraft podcast. Minecraft podcast. There, there is that, and I actually think that's about it for plugs outside. Oh, Twitter at the TTV channel. All right. At the notorious Ben. <laughs> at the North Shusavin. At Messinac. Yeah, yeah, for all my retweets. That's it. That's yeah. that does it. I can't remember all what my music. Twitter is. At Meerkat Music for all at of your... break breaker of stars. Yeah. One 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 Mere, one 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 one. Mayor, I'm 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 waiting for the next song. It, uh March twenty eighth, yo. Okay, March uh, tomorrow. Ooh. Tomorrow. No, Wait, no, no. March, March, March. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! I'm... <laughs> that year, uh, that way. What year is it? What year is it? <laughs> I'm a month ahead. No. No, you're a month behind. <laughs> no, am I? No, I'm. I'm thinking. No, uh, no, 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 no. This is a this is a train wreck. No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're a train wreck. You're a train wreck. No, you. You want to fight? Oh, that's my Twitter. Okay. That's it. You're not. The I couldn't remember what my Twitter anymore. was. Now I do. What is it? Zach, you're the co-host now. Boy, I, <laughs> of, I feel a lot of pressure. <laughs> All right. All right. Never mind. Zach. Let me take that weight you. off your shoulders. Back to you, LJ. Hey. Uh, thanks, Ben. So today in the weather. <laughs> <clears throat> so all right. It's gonna rain. <laughs> it's gonna rain. Back to you. <laughs> so, since the last time we did brick feed, which surprisingly was only. Like about a week ago. I know, that's shocking and very unusual for us. <coughs> we had a lot of stuff happen, namely Toy Fair, New York Toy Fair. Which but first up... of all... What? Did did any of you get any new Lego sets in the You last are only week? saying Dude, that. Yeah, you are... I was going to say... <laughs> Thank you, Meso. LJ, you completely skipped over You that did not what? get Here any new point. Lego sets, you heathen. I did, actually. Do I remember the name of it? No, because I got it several months ago, and I currently cannot find it. I haven't built it. It's still in the box somewhere in the room. Is it really new, then, if you got it months ago? All right, well, it's... it's. I mean, to me, it's new. It's still in the box. I mean... You know. I mean it'll be new to you, because you don't even remember what it was. <laughs> Look for it. Yeah, while I, you'll uh, find it. She's like, oh! 
I got while this I, now. While I talk about mine, uh... look for it. Mm. I've got that Ninjago Legacy Golden Dragon sitting in a box waiting to be built somewhere. So, uh, I'll be swift because we do have news. I just want to say uh, a special shout out to patron by the name of Star Destroyer, who was literally MSS. one of the kindest people ever and sent me the hidden side lighthouse of darkness set. Nice. <clears throat> he mentioned on the last podcast um, that he bought all the sets from Lego, and they, in their infinite wisdom, sent him three of each for, like, what? no cost. So he was just like, hey, yeah, I joked on the podcast, I was like, send me one, and afterward he was like, yo, I actually will, though. And I was like... Wait, how does that work? Dude, Did he just, he just, just order it from Lego and just got everything tripled? That yeah. easy? That well, easy. Someone, someone sent like me a... like a thousand dollars. Jk. Is there like a fire. low percentage chance, like a drop or something every time? <laughs> yeah. Every time you buy from Lego, there's like a three percent chance, like Triple everything's drop. just tripled. <laughs> I don't yeah, know, man. Everybody head to Lego.com and buy something right now. You have a chance to get That's... it tripled. It's all a lottery, though. So pretty much, it's uh, you have about as much of the chances. That's insane. Come on down <laughs> to Billund. <laughs> Uh, Freda says, like, a not common to become an RNG, rate? an RNG Royale game. Yes. <sighs> I love it. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. This set is really, really, really freaking cool. I remember this set got a lot of unjust hatred for being like, oh, it's a lighthouse. There have been other lighthouses. That I liked it. Vaguely similar if you contort your eyes enough. But, like, to me, I love literally everything about this. The rocky outcropping, the steps, yeah, the actual those, those build of the lighthouse. Ridiculous. The transformation, it's so subtle, but you can, like, extend the claws from the rock face and spin the light at the top to become an evil eye and then flip out the doors to show the teeth. Like, it's very subtle, but it does work at completely transforming the set. Um, I just, it, it's an absolute masterclass in design work, the amount of micro details they're able to put in. Um, it might be... So I'd be heathenous, but I do like it a bit more than the bus because of the transformation factor, which the bus obviously did not have. <clears throat> but I haven't really gotten one yet with the transformation factor. So, yeah, it's pretty good. And nice. then uh, also one more because I was so motivated by this that I got another set because um, I'm just on a hidden subject. I got the Graveyard Mystery set, which is also from Hidden Side, but this is the first wave. And it's just the graveyard. It's got the evil tree man. And yes, it was. It's very mysterious. Watch my review on it. <clears throat> yeah, it's really cool. Ben did a review. It's awesome. Uh, yep. The set definitely lived up to the review. I am very happy. And the tree is very intricately detailed. I love the tree so much, dude. Also, Ben did a really oh, wow. good review on it, too. Like, that, like, Thank you. Props you to know you. what? You do such a great job too. I I, um, oh, I wasn't I wasn't fishing that. for compliments. I'm being sincere, but you're good. <laughs> you're all right. No, I'm just saying. I'm just you know. No. Nice back. Let me do the, Let me do <laughs> something for you. <laughs> Absolutely. You've not. done enough for me, Ven. We made Biocraft. I am happy. Oh, we made Biocraft. The one year uh, anniversary is almost here. It is. It's in like a month. We gotta oh, throw gosh. a party. What do you want to do? I don't know. I don't know. Let's All make right. more Biocraft. I can, I can probably <laughs> finally release the hero cover. Please. Yeah. Please. Yeah, th those are my sets. Hidden Side continues to impress. Support the theme. Cool. There's a cut. Um, it's for done. Hidden Side. I bought a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Ferrari? The. You gotta show me a picture. Yeah, you, you gotta you show me. You them Ferraris, usually. Yeah. <laughs> Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can find the new one? one I got. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I think it's the new one. Uh, is it the red is one? Is it like eight wide? Yeah, eight stud wide? I think so. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, the that's the one. Speed champions, Ferrari, F8. Tribute. Doesn't those like house two people in them? <coughs> it can, I think. There we go. Um, it only comes with one figure, though. Yeah, I bought okay. that. That was really fun. It was a, it was a, an enjoyable build. Dang, um, that looks sick. It, yeah, and it's like, it's a, it's a lot of bricks. It makes it really contoured and everything, and it's really detailed, and it feels really fun to just roll around. It's got, it's got the good old uh, Hot Wheels roll factor on it. Nice. Speed champions, man. They got that detailing. Mm -hmm. Speed they champions really have just been getting better and better. 
for sure. <laughs> There. So I got kind of a new set. Like, it's new to me, but it's not a new set. Uh, dude, I did. this is a legitimate thing that did recently happen, so it is new. Okay. I finally got around to getting my own uh, Toa Mata Nui set back from back in... Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. Dude, I love that mask. <sighs> I'm so sorry, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> the, the two different responses. <laughs> I feel like that perfectly up. encapsulates how people feel about this set. It's wow, nice that that mask is great, and oh, I'm I'm so sorry for your loss. How did you pull <laughs> off getting this set without spending a million dollars? I uh, bricklinked a lot. That's also, fair. shout out to Waj because he hooked me up with those yellow pieces on the legs. Those are no, like I... impossible to find. I um, I may or may not be providing the mask. Oh boy! This is, a, this is a thing that may or may not be happening. As Wait, well. I, I forget. Did did you have what? two of them? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. There we go. Jeez. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I, can't, I got really lucky. Let's boy, Meso, how did yellow. your mom let you have two Mata Nui's? <laughs> <laughs> two Mata Nui's? I have zero Mata Nui's. So yeah, I really, I really regret not getting uh, uh, Titan Mata Nui when it came out. I kind of regret not getting it when it came out too, because when we'll I grab the masks this baby and take together, a picture, I'm like, it. "Wow, this is nice." I, I do have a different Ignika that I put on it uh, to substitute for the gold one, and I mean, overall, I, it's, it's sick. It's really well built. I like posing it. It's a fun set. How, uh, yeah, I see why people uh, hate it, but there are parts that I enjoy. It's really well put together. Like I could, I feel like you can get some really good mocking ideas just from like studying the actual build of the set. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, I, you know, I have I have a lot of regrets, but not by that's no, that's not one of them. I I actually agree. There's there's certain structural properties about the like yeah, the like the pistons on the torso. Those are pretty. Good. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like X. This, X, it's, it's actually really stable. I started building it myself. <clears throat> Like it's Max pretty cool that it doesn't better. need uh, the pistons on the legs, you know, to stand up. It it holds itself up pretty well. Yeah. Is that how you say his name? Maxilos. It it, Max it can guy go guy either has... way. You, you can say yeah, Maxilos that... or Maxilos. It, Max yeah, loss. <laughs> Max is lost. Maximum we gotta go loss. Find him, ah, <laughs> maximum loss. Brent just beat me to the joke. Dang it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like he just has like this, this all the things because there is yeah, a, two. <laughs> you can, Star, there's so much. It's so easy to like overcomplicate <laughs> stuff with techniques. I, just like, <laughs> I thought you only had one this whole time. Yeah. I felt bad. No, I and like, he's supposed to be gold. No, 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 like, no, no. I got a second one. I got a second one shortly after Brick Fair ended. <laughs> what? <laughs> But yeah. why? He like he looks like half of him is like cheddar cheese or something. It's just, no, 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 no. Not... Okay, I was super skeptical at first too, and the pictures do not do him justice. But actually, holding the set, the color blending is a lot better than you would think. Yeah, dude, I this set is great. Awesome. I need another one just like. <laughs> dude, like I need one... two of these guarding the door. Yeah, do you beat someone? You're like such a great friend. Do you have a doppelganger? <laughs> you need the bouncers need outside your room. <laughs> I'm I'm missing like some of those Keat orange parts, like three of them, and then the mask and so, maybe some yellow Technic parts, but that's about it. I, some I, of the Keat orange came on the original Mata Nui, so like the the canister Mata Nui, so you should be able yeah. to pick them up a little cheaper than you'd think. Oh yeah. Surprisingly, yeah. there's not a lot of sellers on Bricklink that have it. Oh, interesting. It's that that Matoro Mari shoulder piece thing that goes on his chest. That's why I had to replace it with a silver one because I mm. couldn't find any sellers that. Mm -hmm. uh, have it. I would have to make a new separate order just for that one. So piece. then, but whatever. Then, um, yes. how close are you to completing your Bionicle collection? Because I know you're so, you're getting real close. I'm super close, dude. I think I'm just missing Ernak, Manas, Manas, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. That might be it. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Do you have the that. shoes though? <laughs> oh my gosh. The shoes. Oh, you're right. That's dude. That's show me your watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah bro. Be it. And then I have a full collection. Then your collection will never be complete until you have the. Not Piraki without Yo -Yo. this amount. 
the no. yo-yo. Hey, I had the toothbrush. Uh, Does that uh, but, but then, do you, do you have all the combo models and do you have all of the 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 promotional <laughs> the stuff? toothbrushes? Like like no, like good guy. No, because my name's not LJ and I don't crumble under the weight of like ridiculous requests. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that, that's <laughs> I, I have nothing to counter that with. It's entirely. <laughs> Yeah, you LJ. right. Yeah, you're so, right. So, when are those book reviews coming out, LJ? Not <laughs> doing it. <laughs> it's got a lot of paper in it. Yeah. Let's think about word relating to books that starts with R. LJ's Only reading part, reviews. Though, you know, it doesn't make for a very good building experience. You know, it's just a book. You know, no, no parts. Uh, LJ, LJ's reading reviews. Let's oh, my go. gosh. You shove the axle through it hard enough, then you can actually mount limbs on it, and then you have a mock. <laughs> Dude, it's like the... Uh, what's his name? There was that one guy on a uh, mask posting who made uh, <laughs> it was like barbed spikes that had ball joints on the end of them, so you could stick them in fruit. Yeah, oh, I saw fruit. that. That monstrosity. <laughs> it's like it's like the barbs on a taser, and you like shove it in an apple, and it has a ball joint now. <laughs> Dude, shout out to William Bruni, this genius. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also, oh yeah, Vin, do you have the yellow jet Not tracks? Ah! Nah! <laughs> I don't get it. No, it doesn't count. Ah, but do you guys have the motorcycle jet tracks? I actually Ooh. did. And also, it's called the Destral Cycle, what? you amateur. No, I'm kidding. I might just get the yellow, <laughs> it yellow jet okay, tracks yeah, and rebuild it. Jet LJ tracks and cycle. I built a uh, Destral Cycle when we were in Utah. Yep, uh, mm-hmm. I mean, technically, we built everything when we were in Utah. Yeah, but, we yeah. did. Hey, hey. That was what? fun. That was you built everything, including your friendship. Correct. Mm-hmm. This is accurate. That was the first time we met. <laughs> that is actually a true statement. Very Mir, what is this, man? I thought we had something special. <laughs> yes, I, I mean, you, LJ? you do have something special. Just we have something <laughs> specialer. <laughs> So, you just got specialed out, bro. <laughs> Alright, we can talk about I'm the Venom Brick Tyrannosaurus. Fair, come on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's how you get this on track. Alright. We're moving on. Ladies News and gentlemen. Take it, is... it away, LJ. Take it away. <laughs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> no copyright get music. Such yeah. a great singer. Stop I love taking you, my mirror away. I, I don't need mirror. I have a mirror. Nice. Okay, I'm leaving. No way! <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay. So, over the weekend, obviously enough, we had Toy Fair happen, Meso's dream vacation that he passed up on when he had the opportunity to go, but it's okay because it was a waste of time anyway. Bruh. Unfortunately, it seems like this year wouldn't have been a waste of time because they actually showed things that we hadn't seen yet. Namely, Dude, well, Toy Fair looks ooh. so good this Meso, year. They revealed so many new it, mega it, it's a It's a 50% sets. waste of time. Toy Fair used to be the thing where they would show off every new theme in full. We've moved from that to where no themes are shown off in full, but a select handful of big ticket items are shown, which to me is weird. Mm-hmm. But it, it, we, we that does sound excited. incredibly lame. Yeah. In any yeah. case, we do have some new exciting things to discuss. The first of which being set number 76151, Venomsaurus Ambush. The set is going to contain approximately 640 pieces, and I do not have a price. AKA the reason why Ven is here today. You know, <laughs> Venom no, is it's not the only reason why I'm here. Wait. I'm <laughs> Venom is like uh is like the new Batman. You know, oh. They just put him in everything. <laughs> Bro, what is this thing? It's Venom T Rex, Venom T Rex. Oh, dude, put venom in everything. That's fine. That, that's how they're gonna get into my wallet, though. Dude, bottom text. Venom, venom <laughs> mech. And now we got venom T Rex. You know, what are they gonna venomize next time? We will, we'll, they can venomize we'll pretty much anything. Dude, I, almost oh. anything venomized is canon. I, I need. I need. That's Y'all true. Ever play Web of Shadows. Web of Shadows was Web great. Web of Shadows. Uh, I Venom watched Web of Shadows. Uh, that was a whole comic book event where almost every <laughs> Avenger had a Venom persona. Uh, this one right here, the Venom Saurus, came from an actual comic too. It was Old Man Logan. There's a part in that comic where Old Man Logan, freaking old Wolverine, teams up with Hawkeye, who is also really old, 
And to get to some place, they have to go pick up the spider buggy. This isn't like a post-apocalyptic world where a bunch of superheroes have disappeared. And so they dig up the old spider buggy. They start trailing across the country. And on the way, they get chased down by a huge Venom T-Rex. Yeah. So but where it's, did it's... it come from? Where did it go? Where did it go? There's a lot of things in, in that Where did it come world, from? Venom post-apocalyptic apocalyptic world that they set up that you can ask that question too <laughs> there's a lot of weird stuff and that's why it's so great because it's so weird mm -hmm. like where's the so so in a post-apocalyptic world i guess dinosaurs are back and then the venom symbiote can just latch onto them sure okay yeah no it, ben, you know, we need to come back to brick fair so we can take this t-rex to the dino museum oh my <laughs> goodness no <laughs> what i will probably do is pick up this set and then compare oh. it with the jurassic park t-rex that we got last year Ooh, so, yeah, that's, that's a great idea um yeah, first it'll, have... it'll, it'll look like his son you know <laughs> that this, this t-rex is not even remotely the same size as <laughs> This is my I mean, son. Is like it's it's gonna yes. look like the baby T Rex next to. Him. He's emo now. This is six hundred parts, and at least around forty percent of the set has to go to that buggy. So it's interesting, honestly. Ah, uh, probably a lot less, honestly. That 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 no, T Rex you know looks what? very behaved. Probably like one percent of the set. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. That sounds that sounds reasonable. Let's do that. I li I like how we get. <laughs> I like two aspects about this set. One, I like how we get all three, like, iterations of the Venom symbiote yeah. in one set. Because we have the dinosaur, we have Venom being, you know, on a person, on a human, and we also <coughs> have the Venom symbiote kind of just as slime in that little egg. It's like oh, yeah. slithering that, out of the egg. Cool. Um, that, that's just Lego being... Funny, I yeah, guess. I mean, I like that. I think that's a good thing. The other thing mm -hmm. I like about it is we have a copious amount of minifigures. We have our normal Spider-Man, which they finally dedicated to to entirely using like the dual molded legs for Spidey. Uh, I'm glad we're over that stage where they weren't doing that. Uh, we also have Spider-Ham. This is his debut set, and we have an improved. Iron Spider. It is a modification mm -hmm. to the one we got way, way, way back when in that Sandman construction set that I love so dearly. Yeah. And this one looks so much better. Let me try and get a picture so of the other one because I remember having some uh, a strong choice of words for that. <laughs> this yeah. is a really good set if you really like Spider Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All of the figures are <laughs> really good. Like, this oh. is some good value if you're collecting Spider Man sets or the figures specifically. Because, oh my gosh. And that gives you another chance to get the new, newer, newer, just emphasizing that, Venom figure, too. Mm -hmm. um, I think currently there's only two other sets that have that. Okay, so I'm wrong. I'm probably still around. Uh, I it, actually... Is it not? It, so it, is it, it not any different? It, sorry, the Iron Spider is different. However, oh, I didn't have strong words for the old one. I actually really liked the old one. I thought it was really good. Uh, I actually wish... I'll go ahead and throw that up on screen for everyone. I actually wish that these were the legs we had gotten for the Infinity War Iron Spider, but it wasn't. Mm. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah, I feel like the ones on the Iron Spider that we got back way back when were much more accurate to the film than what we ended up getting so uh right. but the, the the ones that we get in this new set they're they're fine too mm. yep. i want to so. put it to light that uh we're getting um brand new spring shooter that looks like the uh i don't know the system alternative or answer to this like really old spring shooter that we've had for a really <laughs> long time throughout technic oh yeah see that on the buggy yeah, thing? Yeah, we have a new like one. Like a big blocky thing? Like, it looks very similar, but in, in sort of like the newer style with like the really small spring shooters that you see in a lot of um, Star Wars sets. Yeah. So, you know, that's that's there. I haven't seen that before. I'm pretty sure that's that's completely new for this mm -hmm. set. I haven't seen that before. So, there's that. That'd be cool. That's there's cool. a lot of, you could get a lot of utility out of that. Yeah. I hope that the, uh, I hope like the darts are compatible with the old spring shooters. 
Uh, I would I don't not so. <laughs> cross my fingers on that one. From no, the, but from the look of it. Hey, I can hope. Okay. <laughs> You're allowed to help. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna take that from you. So you, you, can't, you keep doing that, brother. <laughs> Unfortunately. This is, like, this is gonna be like a day one purchase for me. Uh, oh yeah, I saw this and I immediately thought, "Yep, Ven." <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. get it. Not only hey, because ben. it's a Venom T-Rex, but also because like this is. It's cool that they included the spider buggy, even though it's not, you know, one to one accurate or whatever. <laughs> It's nice that it's there, and it's it's just really cool that this is uh, a straight callback to an actual comic book. Yeah, um, that's like at least obvious to me. All right, so Ven, I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch something to you, okay? Imagine this. I'm gonna hit it with a bat, and I'm gonna make a home run. Let's go. All right. You know that Mandalorian set? Uh, that's like not not for the show, but like the Mandalorian like battle pack. Yes. Imagine. Oh, shoot. I, I should have talked about that. I did buy that recently. Oh, oh fantastic. Anyway, okay. go ahead. Imagine that, but instead of Mandalorians, it's the Life Foundation symbiotes. Mmm. Yeah. Man, I wish I could swear. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Quick, I do want to say shout out to Tooth Dominoes in the chat. He says, "Lol, sorry, the shooters are not compatible, so yeah. the old shooter and the new one are not going to be able to work together." Ah, Rest well. in pepperoni. Rest in, Dude. in tiny Lego pieces. But it is funny you mentioned that, LJ, because like this does give me hope that we're going to see more Venom-related stuff, especially with the movies. Uh, They've been a, like, spamming a Venom in like, basically every set. Yeah, yeah, I I want more, but not more Venom. I want more like Venom related stuff. Like, shoot, give me another Carnage, I guess. Well, we got a Carnage, didn't we? Ah, uh, yes, actually, we yes. Set we last we year? there. No, no, no. Um, it's I think this year. Um. Oh yeah, no, it's the the Venom buggy. We never talked about that. It's literally. No, we never did. Did you ever see that though, then? I've seen it. It didn't really look too appealing to me. Though. Yeah, no, it didn't look appealing to anyone. <laughs> I don't mean oh. to sound that way, but it like people kind of <laughs> let me try and find it. They kind of just collectively bagged on it because it's almost Dang. a palette swap for the spider crawler. Um, oh, okay. I yeah, like to yeah, call it. The, uh... It was the big spider set. That's yeah, what it was. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. It's called the I'm Venom it Crawler. Right I'll just link it there. there or as yeah, I like to call I mean, it, Lost it's... 2. Okay. I you have to to say. Because <laughs> I got that original Spider-Man, Spider-Crawler I mean, set, whatever it was called, and it was, like, okay. So about it this way, though. Need, I didn't need a second one. Even Spider if it does matter. have more articulation than Lost. It does. It's actually it does. tragic. <laughs> It's actually a complete embarrassment. I do um, like the little buggy that it comes with, though. Yeah. It's pretty Dude, jamming. I wish that it's was the buggy that buggy. came with them. Um... The, the, buggy, right. the buggy looks like a uh, like the Toy Story buggy. Yeah. The, the RC <laughs> buggy. Yeah, it does. Ooh, like but it. That, uh, that Iron Venom minifigure does look pretty cool. Yeah. yeah I forgot like this set had that. Yeah, I, yeah, actually I, got this. Like, I forgot how appealing the spider like If they did portion. Toxin At least in another set Oh gosh I don't want Toxin I want Anti-Venom dude Anti-Venom would be a good contender Anti-Venom, yeah. Toxin Life Foundation Symbiotes Please give them all Just put them all in a set there you go. I finally got the picture <laughs> of the, the Venom Crawler up on screen Uh this this release oh this hasn't released yet it releases in 2020 i don't have price or parts but um mm. i i think so what, oh wait no i do have, gonna get have, like a have big parts. venom wave this summer Is i have that what's happening? i guess from venom way 400 chinese year of the venom yeah i'm all for it <laughs> I, I, the case. lego listen I know we haven't always been on good terms, especially after the whole debacle with me calling you Dude. out for potentially making a Spinosaurus, a new Spinosaurus, which is absolutely going to happen. Mark my words. 
If it doesn't happen after uh, Dominion comes out, Dominion, then then there will be a uh, a lot of heck to pay. Here's but but here's the thing, Lego. I'm 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 pleading with you, a Lasher minifigure, <laughs> please. Neek, come on! I need that Spinosaurus in my life. We haven't had one since 2001. God, the Dude. original Spinosaurus is such booty too. Like, oh, I mean, right. even even Iron Man got got like venomed or whatever. Yeah, you know? dude, he gets around. He got venomed. Thanos even got venomed. Not really. Mm-hmm. Now yeah, that's symbiote. So Thanos venom. I want to see how that looks. Dude, that looks. Yeah. That looks. Uh, that, that, that. Yeah. That looks. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's that's Thanos <laughs> the Venom symbiote. It sure sure is a thing. Thanos All Venom. Right. Thanos Venom. Yeah. So yeah, Lego. All right. And there's a lot of Venom. Next in it. news. <laughs> what? Yeah, Who next are news. you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm the real host. <laughs> no, no I'm. <laughs> I'm the host. Dan. Dan. No, I'm the host. Dan. I'm Dirty Dan. Don't I don't kid Dirty yourself. Dan. Anyway, uh, right. do any of you guys have anything else to to add? Regarding Venom Rex, I good. think it's neat that they're still making brick built dinosaurs. Yes. Just, just do that and more. You know, you can do it. And like, cool. I want a lot of people to to buy this set just so that they know they can make brick built dinosaurs. I think yeah. that would be so much cooler for the Jurassic World sets if instead oh, of yeah. getting this weird big pre mold of a dinosaur and then some blue and gray helicopter or jeep. Why don't we just have the the parts, those resources go to the dinosaur? Just make a brick built dinosaur and have a little maybe tiny accessory go with it. But then, that would be vroom, so much cooler. No, I don't care about those jeeps. I t I take those things. But from from then, ah, that's what the people <laughs> want. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> I hate it, man. I just <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> we need more pictures of Vroom Vroom. Anyway, next thing, <laughs> LJ. Yes. Is it LJ? Dio? Is it Dio it's, that we're it, talking it's, about now? Yes, it's Dio that we're going to be talking about next. Dio! So, something that got revealed uh, in a very similar uh, sense of the the UCS. I'm, I have air quotes. You can't see it. UCS Porg and the UCS uh, BB-8. We now have set number 75278-DO from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. It contains approximately 519 pieces mm -hmm. and will cost about $70 at retail in the U.S. It'll come what? out. It'll come Dang, out dude. April 19th. How many pieces? 519. 519. This is $70. Atrocious. That's Star Wars, dude. You uh, like Jojo. This is like the lawbreakers of <laughs> Lego stores. <Wars>, UCS. <laughs> UCS like... Dio. UCS. No, I say. I say. I say. Dio stands for. Um, it stands for dead on arrival. I want to. I want to. Uh, <laughs> Not to be confused with UCS JoJo. <laughs> I want. I knew that was gonna happen. I I want <laughs> to stress the air quotes of UCS. The only reason I say that is not actually because it's branded as UCS. It isn't. However, it has a plaque. Pla yes. Plaques might as well be UCS. <laughs> it has a plaque, and it is roughly of the scale of the Porg and BB-8. Which is the large scale. Huh. That so is just such a, an awful price point. It's, it's a really it's bad rough. price point. The set itself looks cool, but like <laughs> I would never consider paying that price for it. I I think I'd pay accurate. forty dollars for this. <laughs> uh I just I don't think that would ever happen considering you know. Yeah. License. Yeah. You et cetera. Right. Like the yeah, like the this the lowest price this would probably ever go for would be like five, uh, 54.9 or something. I don't know. Yeah. 58. Yeah. Something along those, those lines, but you know, I, I mean, I'm not a very big, big fan of the, the source material in this case, but it, I will say though, that is, it is very accurate to the source material. So if you are a fan of this droid, then, you know, that's the thing. There you go. It's, it's well crafted. It's, it's very well designed. It's well built. You know, it looks like the thing from star Wars. It's just, it's, it's, it's from, it's from The Last Jedi, or not The Last Jedi, it's from uh, The Rise uh -oh. of Skywalker. 
So, hmm. Well, I thought you liked The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, but... it's a movie. Let's yeah, move on. This is a movie. Yeah. It was a movie. There we go. It was not because of Dio. I get no, in trouble was... when I talk about it, Star Wars. It was uh, a movie. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a cool. It's set, a set. I would never buy it. Pass. Yeah, no. They, I, I'm interested in like one part in it, like the. You know, I don't even know how to describe where that is. So we're, let's just let that go. You know, we have, we have a lot of. <laughs> oh, okay. It, oh, I've 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 done my I've said the things, etc. Okay. I don't know. I like the color green though, or something. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> All right, you guys, ready for next? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. oh, I am so ready for this. Uh, first super chat from Adrian G, a dollar ninety nine cents, <gasps> who gave us a message. Ooh. I have a funny story about the Mandalorian pack. So thank you, Adrian. Uh, his he did post his story in the comments it's in multiple parts so i'll let him finish that we might read it i'm not sure yet but i want to move on to this next piece of of news because it's one of the things i'm most excited about elders hype holy crud that's right everyone like collectible minifigure series 20 has been revealed and oh my gosh it's a really good one it's going to come out april 19th there are 16 minifigures involved and they're st oh geez, I am they're great. So we have the tenth anniversary green brick suit guy, and tenth anniversary would be commemorating ten years, uh, if I'm not mistaken, ten years of the collectible minifigures. We have an electronic Has it musician. Been 10 years? I believe so. Electronic wow. musician. Oh. These are not official names, by the way, as far as I'm aware. A uh, sleepy girl, drone pilot. Red Ranger, oh, that definitely can't be uh, official. A nunchuck fighter, a field athlete, a diver, a pirate, rocket girl, llama costume girl, a Viking, pinata boy, hip hop girl, pea costume. It's it's like like little like green peas, and a knight. Well, y'all already know what I'm getting. The Viking, <laughs> the Viking, and the the guitarist. Dude, I'm so excited for the Viking. It's a historically accurate Viking helmet. It doesn't have the yeah. horns. Uh, it, and it's the beard and everything. It's oh, gonna... the beard. That's so good. It looks real nice. <laughs> I love it. The Viking and the green brick are my favorite. And the green brick, not even because of the green brick, because it's not a matte green brick. It's that lighter color. Um, that hairpiece, <laughs> if I am not mistaken is actually the hairpiece from Soldier 76, and this is our first recolor of it. Hmm. Nice. Ooh. And I am Dude, really we got a Power Ranger in this. <laughs> ah, yeah, more or less. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the, it, it looks a lot more like the, uh, the Sentai uh, characters. Okay. It's called a Red Ranger. <laughs> <sighs> Neek, why would you... Mm -hmm. Tooth Dominoes in our patron chat has made the assertion that <laughs> the bright green is the superior green. Oh, the no. brick is bright green. Superior yep. green. <laughs> is that a llama? <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, dude. Dude, I didn't even consider that. It is perfect. Oh. Anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, no, it is a llama. It's a gallon of llama costume. I will not get that. And if I get that, I'm going to be very upset. -y. Why? You don't like Spaghetti? llamas? I don't like any of them that are dressing up as animals. You should know this by now, Ben. <laughs> uh, makes sense. Yeah. Uh, we that actually get a few. You of you. We get another hairpiece recolor on the guy with the, the kid with the nunchucks. His hairpiece has come in two different shades of brown prior, and now it's in black, which I'm super excited about. It's like a karate kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah basically. Uh, we got a bunch of new torso prints. There is the, the kid with the space stuff has a torso print of a, I believe that's a classic spaceship on his or her shirt, which looks excellent. That's a really cool uh, print. The kid with the drone, the drone operator, I don't know what, a, what, what that is on his shirt. Like, it's a T. I don't know what that stands for. The T stands for trouble because I'm going to fly that drone over an Air Force base. <laughs> <laughs> 
There you go. That seems plausible <laughs> for me. Write it down or, the wiki. I mean, put it down the press. I had a pretty similar <laughs> guess, yeah, so it was decision. gonna be like T for can, terrorism, uh, but you know. No, it stands for. Uh, what Merce said? I, I don't know, man. I just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, Sakota in the patron chat points out something very interesting. In the minifigure, the space uh, minifigure, you do have a little rocket that has NASA on it. Which, yeah. of course, brings up the question. Does that make that minifigure licensed? Ooh, I don't know. Oh, here, here's the yes, thing. So. I don't know. Mm. I don't know if... Um, intriguely, intriguely scratching my chin I'm as I am thinking. thinking. Is there mm. a NASA license? Because I understand oh. with NASA photography, they can't copyright NASA pictures. Like, if they take a picture of the Earth or they take a picture of the moon, or they take a picture of the ISS, they can't copyright that. It essentially, if I'm not mistaken, that essentially goes into public record. It, it's, um, you can use it. It's license free. However, this is their logo. Do they have a license over that? Can they make money off of the logo? I don't know. Maybe they're just sponsoring them. No, no, no. I don't that for Maybe. for a little for a bottle rocket. <laughs> buy bricks today, sponsored by NASA. Especially yes. when they have like huge space space sets coming out. Like they had the um the Saturn V and they're having the, the ISS, ISS coming out soon, even though the ISS was an idea set that was doomed but got a chance at revival. I'm I'm gonna buy the ISS day one, not gonna lie. I really, really, really love it. It's yeah, it's such a cool build. It's very impressive, but I it, I'm not big on space anything. If they make a Lego Saturn, I'll consider that. Uh, like an actual Saturn? Like like, like the, the planet. planet. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Do you want it one to one scale? <laughs> no. No. I'm good. <laughs> I don't think there's enough mass in like to actually There really that isn't, in the I, solar honestly. System. Yeah, there's a lot least... of stuff where it's just like, oh, well, we have enough bricks. This one though, ah, uh, you know, yeah. not not too sure on this one, Chief. Even oh, if it yeah. was hollow, like, yeah, maybe if it was hollow, or yeah. if you had a strong enough computer, you could do it in LDD. Ooh, oh, you could. Uh, it's gonna be a very big LDD file. My I've guy. got oh, a yeah. friend who's got like a <laughs> super computer. I'll ask him if we can play around with that later on. <laughs> Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll figure we'll figure something out. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, this is a this, a this is a very good series. wave. I love it. It is a very good wave. Um, there's also like the return of like the the metal oh, around yeah, that yeah. beer throwing throwing gal. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think it's just some cool variety in there, and mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 great to have um another series that's not um. It's not licensed, and actually, like one of the very intriguing ones for me is just the guy with the the drone thing, because I just think it looks really neat. Honestly, mm -hmm. I think it uh, I think it looks very, very, I don't know, very Lego y. You know, I can see just a lot of fun stuff to do with that. Honestly, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, yeah, and then I have to get the Viking for because I, I have to. Yeah, I say, yeah, we both have yeah. to. We're legally obligated. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's also a little pinata kid. You know, people can put that in like their uh, Fortnite mocks or whatever. You oh know, my gosh! Gonna be pretty happy about it. Oh. <laughs> I know. Fortnite. Oh, we like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. <laughs> and also, like, I also like the hip hop girl. I don't know if that's like the 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 official name for her or whatever. I mean, we we don't have any official. It, it looks yeah. it looks like a it looks like a Lego Instagram model. Honestly, oh that's, my gosh. that's what it looks like everything um, everything about it honestly i really want like a hip-hop break dancer set but it's got like a, a like an actual cardboard box that's like laid flat so that <laughs> way they can like do their do their head twists head spins wow. and everything like that like, <laughs> i want realism in these sets now oh speaking of realism uh, i love the turtle I, I would be remiss if i didn't mention there is another hair color re uh hair piece recolor uh the like the gal in the pajamas her hairpiece is hermione's hairpiece from harry potter it oh. this is the first time it's been recolored and it is blonde yeah. now so sorry continue it looks very nice in that color as well i like it it mm -hmm. does yeah good good wave i like it 
the turtle's very uh it's very cute. I want it. <laughs> turtle's pretty great. Give yeah, me right. the key to I love turtles. Yeah, no, that's great. Um now, again, this uh this launches I believe on April nineteenth, is what we were told. Funny enough, Very nice. they were kind of accidentally put out on uh, on the showroom floor, apparently. Rumor has it that they were not meant to be shown. And because, because like, the next day, they were gone from Toy Fair, hmm. which is Why hilarious. There? <laughs> but uh, something we never really discussed, but is worth mentioning. I don't know if it's going to apply to these specifically, because we've only ever had uh, licensed... <laughs> series to to base it off of there is a price increase in the collectible minifigure series they've gone from their like three dollars a bag to five that's a big yeesh yeah yikes so now granted the only one that i've seen that price increase take effect on are the licensed waves but this will be our first run of things with the non-licensed wave so i guess we'll have to see Yep. Anything else, you guys? You guys got anything? Zach, nope. Mir. Nah, man. Let's yeah, look at these minions, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wanna. No. I wanna. I wanna look oh, at. Oh uh, no! 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 Every oh. meme. Oh. Goes minions by. construction. Minions construction. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> yes, everyone. We now have Lego they minions. Have articulation. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Hang on. I'm getting to it. I get it up. Mm. All right. So. We had the full wave of minions revealed because we knew that this was going to happen. It's for the new movie, uh, I don't know, whatever the movie's called, Rise of Gru or whatever. Um, so we've got five sets. Let's start off with the first, set number 75546, Minions in Gru's Lab. I hate this. <laughs> 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 Why must we suffer? <laughs> this is so a new Mandalorian is... set that no. got revealed. Too. No, <laughs> you you Please. suffer. Uh, yes. me physical Can pain. we just let's not talk about minions on second thought? Here's my but thing. But we've got a slide. <laughs> Why? He's got a little slide. I'm <laughs> trying to. You know, this is this is um. There's obviously a demographic for minions and um. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not too Facebook. hyped. I'm not. Yeah, there you go. I'm not too hyped about minions, and um... <laughs> that, that's honestly. Yeah, I'm trying to be. Dude, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm lie. Not... The best part about this set is the two minions drowning in the in the washing <laughs> machine. <laughs> <laughs> I here, here's it's my only thing. Only I, I find out of the set. These sets are actually fairly reasonable adaptions of the source material. Like, they had to make all the, the molds for the minions themselves, and they look like yeah. minions. They look like Lego minions, and that's fine. <laughs> I have no I have no familiarity with this, this franchise. I've never seen a Minions movie. I don't intend on seeing a Minions movie. I have no connection to any of this. I have nothing to add here. Well, Dude, I think... Is that an Air Force pilot minion? <laughs> yes. The oh. minion pilot in training. Minion pilot, minion pilot. Oh my gosh. His unstoppable bike chase has a regular guy. Oh. Just a regular guy. Yeah, no, that's Gru. Just a regular guy. That's, that's, that's Gru? Take... That's Gru. That's, that's Gru, man. That better not be Gru. Maso, who else is it? It's Gru. Dude, it literally, it it's it's Gru. Gru. Oh, no, he's Big got fig. the scarf. He's got the scarf. What yeah. a horrible minifigure. Yeah, look, look. There are a lot. Here's the description. The chase is on. Help Gru and the minions protect the Zodiac Stone from the villains who want it back. They'll need to be speedy to outwit the evildoers. Luckily, there's a banana to throw as they ride it looks along. nothing like Groot. Gru's taking control of the Lego Minions' unstoppable <laughs> bike chase, with Bob helping up front. Meanwhile, Stort's enjoying a thrilling ride that he's dragged along on the rocket skates. It's young Gru, because the movie's a prequel. It's this young is... Groot? It's young Gru. This. That looks nothing like Baby Groot. Okay, listen here. I, dude, Baby Groot have... gonna sell so many toys. Uh, they didn't. They they didn't give him literally the most iconic part of Groot being his nose. <laughs> Not no Lego minifigures. Well, he's a minifigure. The nose. 
I, I get that, but they could have at least done. A hey, they were able to do it for Dobby. Maybe, maybe, maybe printing or a custom yeah. head. Yeah, I see what uh, you're getting at, but I think I think the budget went to the minions, my guy. Which is the worst. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, it really why, did. At that point, why even make a crew minifigure? <laughs> he's, a, he's a star of the movie. You gotta have him minions. in one. Because the movie supposedly battle. about him and not about minions. This, I love that. I, I will say, I love the Kung Fu allegedly. battle set. Yeah, I was about to say, like, this is definitely, like, the best out of those. And Can I just like say that did, it's a did set. Did two dominoes make it? It is a it set where we have four different colors of bananas. Let that sink in. I don't know if I could look two thumbnails in the eyes. If I'm, if we have red bananas, side. yellow bananas, tan bananas, gold bananas. That's bananas. Dude, this, yeah, this says, oh, it wasn't you. Oh, it looks very, it looks like a, it, it belongs into the Chinese New Year line. Honestly, like if you take away the minions, it, it kind of just it belongs yeah. in Ninjago. <laughs> if you take away the minions, it might be okay. <laughs> I really liked a really small dragon, honestly. That was really cute. Yeah, the tiny, tiny, tiny dragon. Oh. Yeah, right. Hang on, guys. We have a new controversy that has just begun. Sakota said, that minion has the Braconical Galley hook for my first set concept. Right. That's right, everyone. Oh That's right. Lego has stolen again. They've ripped oh, off no. another fan for another design. That's right. All right, guys. I'm calling it. It's boycott time. And minions was the last straw. Dude, let's do it. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm, I don't want to do it because minions construction. Oh minions. my gosh. What about I... this? What about this is construction, Meso? They can move their hands. Their hands are yeah. not pixel joints. Yeah, that's true. Is, this is... is this. I will okay. personally not be buying any minion sets. I am, I'm on sorry. According um, to the. Uh... I'm not getting these. <laughs> According to the uh, one presentation at Brick Fair last year, these do qualify as construction. <laughs> I know. Ah. Uh -huh. Construction's new face. <laughs> go back Shut in time, up. you know, to 2003 or whatever, Bionicle, and then go to up to a guy, just show a picture of I minions. Mean, this is this is the future. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Apparently one of these is called Kevin. Which one yep, of these okay. is Kevin? It's the one with two eyes. Huh, Kevin I, Hinkle! Um, here, no, I have something Bob. to I also show know you. a guy named Kevin that has two eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and glasses. This is, wait. This, <laughs> this is his, uh, this is Kevin Kevin Hinkle if he were <laughs> a mix. Uh, like, no, I was about to say Mixel. If he were a minion. Do we all have minion sonas? Minions. Can, we do, that? That Can we just do a podcast where we replace our sig figs with minions? Minions figs? No. No. Oh. All right. Uh, we're gonna do the picture with like the really big enough, column, enough but like minions minifigures. Is that where you're gonna? Yeah. Uh, the the minions. So these actual. The, real quick. These brick built minions and their lair, as the set is called. Um. The big ones open up, and there's like a bunch of stuff inside. You can open them up from the back. Dude, and you can just... autopsy them? Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Hello, okay, everyone, so... and welcome to Minion Autopsy, where we cut to the minions piece by piece. Oh, well, it's like that big, quote-unquote, construction SpongeBob set that was released forever ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love it. Huh. But did the construction SpongeBob have articulated hands? Um, Dude, Lego's I, been through a lot of licenses. Actually, man. did it? We didn't have mixel joints, that's for sure. Member Lego Lone Ranger. I do. Uh, oh, let's... Let's... oh, let's lie. Let's lie. Let's lie. All right. I think that's about all she wrote for minions. Minions. Minions are sets minions. made of Lego. Oh, uh, okay. That's... Yeah, the, the SpongeBob go. set. Did not have articulated hands. It was the uh, the Knights Kingdom arms. Oh, no. oh. oh yeah. Oh gosh. Weird oh. times. <laughs> oh yeah, we're in where we are in weird times. Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and move on to our last piece of news for today. You have uh, a Lego Baby Yoda theme. What Massa said. So <laughs> Disney has a TV show called The Mandalorian on Disney Plus, and is good. It's in the Star Wars universe. And there wasn't a whole lot of merchandise for it when it was actually airing. Apparently that was very halted 
I don't know how it worked to get the merchandise to, to begin. I don't know if it was like a, a delayed release or what have you. But we finally have Lego sets re regarding it. We've had one. There have been one Lego set about the Mandalorian. But now we have two more. And they include the main character of the Mandalorian, aptly called The Child. The the... <laughs> yes. <laughs> The uh, man himself. The the first set that people <laughs> are really fawning over is set number seven five two nine two, the Razor Crest. It's going to be available on September first. Contain approximately one thousand twenty three pieces, and at retail, go for about one hundred and thirty dollars. Which does look pretty cool, even if it is a patented mm -hmm. Star Wars gray block. It does have a cool shape to it. I love the engines. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I like the engines. I like it a lot. As a big fan of the show, I am very happy to see this being made. It actually kind of reminds me of the uh, the Firefly from the show Firefly. Oh, yeah. It kind of oh, reminds yeah. me of the LJ from the LJ Johnson show. Ha what? <laughs> How? Really? It doesn't have the same yeah. shape at all. I think you're... No, I don't... You know uh, what this reminds me of is a nice, cool, refreshing glass of oval tea. Oh, my gosh. You know what this reminds <laughs> me of is a nice... Cool bottle of aqua. No, yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. No, Why? Cool I show. appreciate the use of the um the black barrel recolors in the on the very back of the engines. Mm -hmm. I dig it. I, I really dig do. It. I dig the yeah. minifigures we get. I like that this is another chance to get the main character Mandalorian minifigure i wasn't a big fan of the atst set and i almost got it just to get him but now i feel like this is more appropriate it's also cool yeah. to have little the yodeling as i like to call it in this kind of wish that he had his um his full best car armor yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i they would keep, love they keep, yeah they keep they keep releasing him in sets at like his his base level and like he yeah, levels dude. up so fast in the actual series, you know. Yeah. Can't can't we yeah. just like dude, yeah, 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 cool stuff. which is pretty cool. Even too. with the ATST set, like at that time period, he had the best car armor, and yet the minifigure released with it was his original dusty brown armor. It's amazing in the show just how like the Empire just joins the server and boosts him like instantly, and then they're like, "No, nah, we got to take that." <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, I mean this. This yeah. was pretty much in in inevitable, considering. Like, I, I feel like I'm totally pre-ordering it. I I didn't think they would. Um, I think the whole thing with the Mandalorian is that they just didn't think that it would. I mean, be that much of a hit, honestly, because they just did. They had like almost no merchandise ready for it. It felt in like an era where out. most Star Wars content is either right. mediocre or outright bad. People crave good stuff. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and um, I mean, there, it looks. I mean, it's 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 great as you said because of the source material, and I do feel like some parts of it is like a bit, bit scuffed. I guess you could say like the um, like with the uh, I've seen like, uh, pictures of it like inside of it. It looks incredibly hollow. Mm. Um, so I feel like they could probably do a lot more with the, with the interior. I don't, I don't know. Like parts yeah. of it look just looks like it's kind of like missing. Like it, could, it, you could have just had like extra parts in there to maybe like smooth it out. It does get like the the overall shape across mm -hmm. the board, and you know you get the the cool minifigures and pretty much everything you want. Like this is pretty much the the entire cast, you know. So <laughs> this is the whole cast. Yeah, this is the whole cast. <laughs> or, you know, the the main characters that you want from from the series, I, I guess you could say. I don't I don't know. Like you get a very healthy amount of minifigures. Of, of right. characters from the show is what I'm getting at, honestly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I haven't, uh, I haven't bought a Star Wars set in probably seven years now, but I'm probably going to be buying this one. Yeah, yeah I haven't bought a Star Wars set in a, a I'm, long I'm time. I'm planning either. to mod this one when I get it. I mean, <laughs> I'd love to I mean, open it up and flesh out the inside so it has all those um, same. Yeah. the the I'm, whatever the the chambers, the carbonite chambers. Yeah, I mean, you'll you'll have a lot of time to to. To think about what you need to do with this set, because it, it doesn't come out until the first of September. That's true. It's Dang, that's, that's a means... very long time. That's a very like, early uh, press release. Dude, season yeah. two is gonna be a lot of time. Oh, that's da, true. Da, 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 it makes me wonder if they're gonna be modifying the interior of it, um, since it is 
so hollow in there as you say i don't i would not cross like i don't think so with the you know they already got like pictures and stuff out of it i don't think that will be something that happens um and like i'm wondering like how how for me to be able to even get a hold of this because this is like an exclusive to to some sort of retailer or something or is Um, it no i think it's on lego.com okay well now we're good at least let me let me double check real fast uh yeah no it's on lego.com yeah it is on lego.com it's uh it's there for pre-order oh it is oh it is 1579 for uh for norwegian crowns that's that's a very big uh that's a pretty pretty meaty price right there yeah Yeah, that's that's gonna be a thinker or two that's (laughs) That's star wars yeah yeah Mm. yeah as as you can see like it does feel a bit like Uh, uh, like hollow in there i um i'm not gonna be picking this up because i have not watched the mandalorian and i don't intend to i i don't i don't have anything against it it's just not not my wheelhouse so uh come on all james baby yoda Yes, my son. I hate it's canon TV. designation is the child. The child. The child. Meso, have you watched the Mandalorian? I have not. All right, then that's our next that's project. Not... Meso, you, you, GL, and I. Let's do that. Oh please, nice. can I? Can I join in? Yeah, I, I want to join in too. And let's get we'll LJ. Let's schedule on it. all that. <laughs> all right, let's you know do what? it. I'm... It's not gonna happen. It's going to I'm happen. Also... What are you talking oh. about? Why not? Too many cooks in the kitchen. Too many schedules. Too many cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> Too many cooks. <laughs> I'm gonna. That's a obscure reference, right there. Anyway, there's yeah. some brickheads too, right? Some seven, nice yeah, but I seven, Mandalorian, Mandalorian and the child. Ma- mess up. Mess up. LJ. Mess up. LJ. Faster, faster, faster. Are you, are you on a timetable? <laughs> Do you no, have no, to no. be somewhere? I think X is. <laughs> or at least you mentioned to me that you were. <laughs> X, are you on a timetable? Uh, I, We should probably wrap up pretty soon, honestly. Okay. All right, for you. So the next set Thanks. and the last one we have to talk but about. We, we got, let's, let's wrap it up for X. Go ahead, LJ. <laughs> set number <laughs> 75317, <laughs> The Mandalorian and the Child. This comes out August 1st. <laughs> It contains ba, 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 approximately 295 pieces and is going to retail for about 20 bucks, which is fairly standard, actually. Yeah. You know what my favorite part about this is that the the child in the crib is almost indistinguishable if you just had a little bit of a palette swap from Yoda just chilling out in his little hover chair going around the <laughs> Jedi Temple. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, I know. This is one of the better brickhead uh, combo packs, I think. Mandalorian yeah, it, looks really good. It's an evolution from the Boba Fett's of of old, mm-hmm. and then I mean, maybe Yoda's just legit. But come on, this does look like one of those brickheads duos that actually like make sense. It doesn't really feel squeezed together, so I'll, I'll give him points for that. That's for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a really sensible bundle. Mm-hmm. I like them. I like the way that they're designed. Yeah. I'll probably pick Hover Pod just looks like an egg with the yellow accent right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does. Putting egg. Yeah. I mean, I thought Breakheads were just, just going to phase out for like a little while there, but they're, uh, they're standing by pretty uh, pretty consistently these days. You know? yeah. Uh, yeah, I there was a rumor that it was done. and I, the rumor Yeah, I remember really, that. It never really seemed substantiated, but no, they... they kind of made, they there was a little bit of a slowdown to ramp back up and now we're seeing that ramp up so i like it i really do like it i think brick kids are good yeah i think they're better yeah. than funko pops personally oh yeah hard agree <laughs> dude <laughs> Working at Target yeah. <laughs> made me hate Funko Pops. Really? Yeah, I just stopped. Dude, like, there's like two in the back wall. Uh, I don't even care anymore, and nobody else does either. So the reason why I despise them so much is because when we would get limited edition Funko Pops released, yep, the day they came in, we'd get really limited orders of like yep. maybe between six to twelve. <laughs> And, and then you'd have to like tell people all day long that they sold out within yep. like, the first ten minutes. Yeah, I hate. 
Yeah, pretty much. Nice to go through that really, they're that popular? Yeah. Yes, unfortunately. Yeah. There's people that literally will fill up an entire wall in their office or their workspace or whatever just for the sake of saying, look, I have a wall of Funko Pops. Yeah. And so I'll be honest, I got a Secret Santa that just came in two weeks ago. Obviously late, but that didn't matter. I came with a CD with a Lord of the Rings uh uh, like soundtrack on it or not soundtrack but like inspired music and then the other thing in there was a Funko Pop and I was like I'm selling this I don't care about this at all <laughs> <laughs> was I, it of? Uh, it's a it's a stormtrooper of some sort like yeah oh. but like it's I, one of the troopers yeah I, just, <laughs> I, I, I despise them to the point where I, I refuse to own any wait 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 X is that where your name comes from? Are you like a former trooper? Like I told you this several times. It's like uh it's like all the way from like uh like Battlefront. Oh Whoa. when I played Battlefront and I was like, oh it's EXX Trooper and I, I made a Flickr account. I'm I was like EXX Trooper, sure, I'll do it. I'm stupid. There you go. <sighs> I you mean... just realized you're pre- <laughs> 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 Bruh. <laughs> I'm dumb. I mean, Standing. no one else has said anything, so you know who's 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 the one to tell. You know, this is the way. Okay, hey, I'm not gonna lie. I legitimately way. thought it was just a typo of EXO Trooper that you just decided to go with. No, EXX is just like uh, it's like uh, just a random like uh, designation or something. But I messed it up because they do like they look like numbers, but I just put like three letters. You know, I was <laughs> I was a little <laughs> kid, or but I was stuck. I just stuck with that. I was just whatever. You know, let's just, let's, let's just go all the way. You know, let's just keep it as like my screen name for like what like over 10 years at this point 50, i don't even know man like a really long time it's pretty good it's a good origin yeah, yeah. story yeah just just i just like consistency or something i'm not yeah. gonna lie i'm so glad i got rid of my old screen name that i thought i was gonna keep forever it wasn't what was, what was, that? What was it it used to be Lego Dude 349. <laughs> That's amazing. Amazing. But I'll tell, I'll tell you what. It, one, of, one of my favorite stories came out of that, actually. So I went to go make a, a RuneCraft, or a RuneScape account, excuse me, cheese. Um, RuneScape Did account. Did you buy and, you buy yes. cheese? No. Nice. <laughs> go on. So, <laughs> I'm so upset right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I go, I go to make the account. It's like, oh, Lego Dude three four nine has been taken. I was like, that what? Are you serious? Like, ah, so really upset. So I ended up making it like Onua something or other. And uh, then later on, I met this guy, and uh, we exchanged emails. I ended up becoming really, really good friends. Uh, his name is Sasha. And uh, when he saw my email was Lego Dude three four nine, he was like, wait a minute, is that? Is that your email? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, that was my RuneScape account. <laughs> oh my god! I met the guy who stole my RuneScape. Oh. ID. That's actually wild. On it, so many dude, levels. that's there's such a low chance of right? that ever being probable. <laughs> that is insane, it honestly, was, dude. You have lived. What are the Odds, dude. I get, oh my dude. God. It was and like he lived in Japan when he made the account too. Like that's like, it, <laughs> gosh, that's funny. It is nuts how like how like just how uh, yeah exactly honestly just how <laughs> oh, oh man, man. Just how all right all right. So we got one more thing before we wrap up, and this is something we we do want to continue. It's just we haven't been able to the last yeah. last few times. It is the random set from the comments. So this one is going to be chosen by Lego David three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's that shows how good we've been going on. I hope Lego David is still watching us. I'm on uh, watching YouTube earlier, so. This is gonna yeah. be Woo! set number eight six four eight. Buzzsaw came out with Lego Racers, released in two thousand five, has approximately sixty four pieces and retailed for ten dollars. Dude, ten bucks is like the perfect price for that. Yeah, right. 
I That's made a... with only 64 pieces. That's I have good. an observation about this set. If it's about the it silver has it parts, it has wheels. Okay, thank you. Yo! It do, and it do be having those wheels. <laughs> and it's cool. And then, yes, silver Mata L. Uh, it's a cat. Yeah, you see, yeah. this is this is uh, Taraga Matau's personal buggy. This is how he gets around <laughs> the island of Matanui. No, this is oh, his this metro. So ride, this is dude. canon. I don't know how to feel about this. That's such a funny ask, image. We should ask Greg if it's canon. No, my it. gosh. Canonize, bro, <laughs> canonize Matau's <laughs> buggy. But no, this is actually a really cool one. I actually think I had this when I was young. Yeah, uh, you know, back when I was I was twenty. You know, ten decades nice. ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I obviously I had this when I was a kid. And uh it's cool. I actually really like it. It's solid. It's surprisingly uh sturdy because there's a huge like wind up engine piece as that center piece there. It's not entirely brick built. And so you pull it back, it winds up, you release it and it shoots forward. Oh heck yeah! Phew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's, really it's a cool. lot of fun. All fast and stuff. I I like this uh, continued. The the one. So uh, like these these uh these uh extra sets um having like a like a bauble part in it. Oh yeah. That's happened, <laughs> like, surprising. That's happened surprisingly often, and it happened. connecting threads. Right, mm -hmm. you know, it's just uh. You know, there's it. It shows. Uh, it shows uh, the amount of like uh, biological parts that's just been used throughout uh, throughout the years in uh, sets that you did, didn't even know about. You know, it's like a, mm -hmm. it's like a cool little trivia thing. It know? goes to show how wrong so many people were who were like super against Bionicle being a Lego theme and like, oh, it's not real Lego. But like, look at this. It fits into brick built stuff too. Like, it's yeah. got so much versatility for what so many people took for granted yep yeah if i were gonna have personally designed this set i would have probably taken out one of those um one of those technic pieces that's holding those buzz saws so it's just slotted into one because the moment that thing hits a wall it's putting the soft plastic of those pieces at jeopardy true yeah i can see that <laughs> So I think only having one thing to slide through instead of two things to add that friction would have made it to where it hits the wall, it slides through instead of bending or potentially damaging the parts. Yeah, no, that's that's understandable. Yeah. Yeah, but you got to live fast, you know. <laughs> you got to pull, <laughs> yeah. pull back that engine, you know, and it goes like zoom when it just like, goes. <laughs> and just don't know what, your dog know, runs after you. Like, oh, no, <laughs> uh, it's also well, worth it noting. Need cars that actually function this way. Those wheels on the side, like the, the little buzzsaw piece on the uh, side of the wheels, those are glow in the dark. Really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah, you can see on the on the box. Like, cool. Glow in the dark. Whoa, crazy. Whoa. Dude, Lego used cool. to be so cool. <laughs> Dude, Lego what is happened? still pretty cool, man. We got Lego like a Venom so T-Rex. Cool. <laughs> Dude, I, yeah, you're right. I They're making a comeback, though, with the Venom stuff. Yeah. Can't yeah. wait to see what else yeah. we get in the year of Venom. I wish the Venom stuff glowed in the dark. The year of Venom. Honestly, that would be really cool if that entire T-Rex and all the white parts just glue up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that dude, would be cool. Hire Leg this man! Lego, Lego this guy. hire me, dude. <laughs> yeah, so he can buy Bionicle. Yeah, let, yeah. Me, let me buy Bionicle. Oh. I've got let 12 bucks. Bionicle. <laughs> oh hey, did you guys hear about the favorite post? Okay, you're done. <laughs> We're done. Praise no, our God King favorite. All right, it's right. time to say the name, sink out, and get this bad boy out of here. Okay, well, thank you all so very much for watching. This has been yet another episode of Brickfeed. Uh, before we end, the plugs. Head on over to TTV message boards at board.ttvchannel.com. Just make sure you're 13 years or older. Read our rules, and you can have a good time. There are a lot of good stuff there, including Lego author Greg Farshti, who answers questions. Additionally, our Patreon, patreon.com slash the TTV channel, where you can donate as little as a dollar a month. And join our Patreon Discord server, as well as our Minecraft survival server, where you can make a faction or join one and try and rule the land. 
Additionally, if you have a random LEGO set you'd like us to discuss next time, make sure you post that in the comment below, and the one with the most likes will be the one we talk about next time. Heck and yeah. finally, Twitter at the TTV channel. Okay, that's all of them. Well and done. audibletrial.com forward slash TTV where you can... <laughs> Technically, <laughs> yes. Brick by brick. Technically, that is also accurate. Don't forget to drink your Ovaltine. Now, my gosh. And your Aquafina. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. All right. Uh, We're done. I'm Ven. Answered by Ovaltina. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm LJ. I'm EXX Trooper. I'm Meso. I'm Meerkat. I'm Starbreaker. And this has been Brickfeed Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you, Ben. Thank you, the Thanks best you, host. You, You're welcome. You You're welcome. 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 You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You all stay safe out there. See you all next time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lego Masters also happened, but I'm not caught up again yet. <laughs> During the I, uh, there's hey, no way hey, to watch Brick it Fair. Norway, so Brick know, Fair. Man. Hey, Brick Fair, Brick stop Fair. spoiling it on Twitter. Hair to hair, Brick Fair. <laughs> <laughs>